Ade is the one for me. See you next week. Bye bye. Goodbye. Hello, viewers at home. Welcome to the Gender Chat Show. I am Adeza Wankwa. And I am Olumide Oyinbokure. Hmm. You look dashing. Thank you. It so looks... good to see you. It's been a while. No. How is life treating you? You're not looking bad at all. I'm doing fine. I'm doing good. Today on the show, we'll be discussing intertribal marriage. Do you think it is linking us to each other, making us love ourselves more? Does it mend the bridge? Does it build the bridge or of is love? It or is it breaking it? breaking it mm. to pieces? Of course, you're an expert in this. You know? You've been there. You've done that. You know, my in-law actually gave me a tough time. Tell me something. Came, oh, yeah? I'm telling you, before we came and agreed to terms, you know, they shocked me a bit. But, you know, we actually find a level ground. And, you know, it's history today. Um, would you say it's been fantastic? Do you say... Um, well, our differences are not so much. We are all still Nigerians, and we shall just continue in the light of what marriage is about. Well, for the in-laws, they need to come to the understanding that there are two people involved in this union, mm. and they need to respect mm. them a lot. Well, the in-laws, let me be, play the devil's advocate. They might have genuine, genuine reasons to be concerned. We, in the age of terrorism, in the age of all sorts of violence here and there, parents are worried. Do I give my daughter to somebody who doesn't understand my culture? And once they have a misunderstanding, you're not sure if your child, your child is going to come back to you alive. You know? But, but you know, in the place where culture is involved or tradition, I believe the, there should be a level ground. They should mm. tow it down a bit. Times are changing. You know? The world is Times changing. Times are changing. The world is changing. And, um, Everything is changing. Love makes all things perfect. It's up to you. Let's decide here um, if he wins or if I win. If love mends bridges in Nigeria, okay. intertribal marriage. Let's go on a short break. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, viewers. You are still on the Gender Chat Show. And with us today is Ini Umana, a computer engineer. And together, we will be talking about the issue of communal marriage. Does it foster communal love among ourselves? So, Mr. Ini Umana, yeah. welcome to the show. Thank welcome you very much. Welcome to the show, Mr. Ini Umana. Thank you. The issue of uh, intertribal marriage and communal love. What's your take on that? Do you think it is building bridges or it's breaking bridges? Okay, communal, uh, intertribal marriages, communal love yeah. and the bridges. Okay, let me go back uh, the history lane a little bit. Um, the program we call NYC today mm. was established to foster national mm -hmm. integration. Yeah. Yeah. So such things like tribal marriages, intertribal marriages rather, began to come, up. You know, come, come out, true. come out from such. So you see a core member from uh, the south, south, the country, in, irrespective of the state, of the migrating to the north and actually Finding love. falling in love yeah. with yeah. Love a northern yeah. Fulani lady. Then there were no uh, vices like uh, militancy, terrorism, okay. we're not looking at each other that way. Yeah. So, uh, in the process of time, we begin, began to see the way we look at these things mm. because oh. we have evolved as a society. True. Oh, true. So, when you encourage people to intermarry, it reduces the tension wow. within yes. tribes. Oh. Mm. Share so, your experience with us. Okay. I understand okay. You, you, are, you are intermarried. And, uh, okay, um, yeah, sure. What was it like? When you met your in-laws and you... No, just before you decided yeah. they wanted to marry your wife. Mm. Did she tell you, my parents were away? What was your fear? Okay, she's a very good... Uh, a very close person to her father. Okay. And, um, you know, when the love between a father and a daughter, <laughs> sometimes uh, it makes the mother jealous. Mm, <laughs> I can and then um, she had to school me on how to get the acceptance of the father. Oh, the father. Yeah. Okay. That's so a wise woman. That is when <laughs> she wants the man, she has to give him a hint on, on how, how to, to get, get accepted at home. Mm. Mr. Ini, now, from the look of things, Nigeria is a multi-ethnic 
uh, country, mm -hmm. we have a uh, tradition and custom. Should we respect tradition, custom, or the love that binds this couple, the couples involved now? What, what do you think? Yeah, that's a tricky one. Respecting tradition and love. Yes. Why I will put love ahead of tradition. Because hmm. love will make you respect other person's tradition. Wow. Thank you so much. Viewers, we will be going on a short break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, viewers. It is still the gender chat show. And we still have with us Mr. Ini Umana, who is a computer engineer. And we're talking about intertwined marriage. marriage. How does it foster communal love? Is it breaking the bridges or is it mending them? I have one more question for you before we call it a wrap. Did you have it? Okay. Now, so we have the couples involved and we, have, we still have this traditional mm. thing. How do we think to balance the two? Should we respect the couple or should we respect the tradition? Okay, I will put love ahead of tradition. When the couple know and understand how to love each other, okay, then they will respect each other's tradition. It's just as simple uh, as that. When they get to understand and love each other, they will now know that each person's tradition is important too. How can a tribal marriage help um, eradicate terrorism, violence? Um, do you think, thinking about the other person as your in-law, your cousin, your sister, somewhere, nephew, niece, somewhere, does it make you see them through the eyes of love and not hate? Is there a connecting point? And um, for you, can you look at your tradition and your custom and that of your wife's own and see the similarities? What what strengthens you people? What what is there to hold on to that, as opposed to what yes. differentiates both of you? Okay, I have a friend. He came on Facebook recently, and he put up a post that two communities, that is his mother's village and his father's village, were at war, <laughs> and he was screaming from the post that they should put an end to it. He can't take sides. Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. Mm, that's a dice so just one, imagine yeah. that more people couldn't take sides. The violence will die down naturally. Uh, but when you talk about terrorism, I think the issue of terrorism can be tackled with uh, enlightenment. It's a matter of illiteracy. Mm. If uh, illiterate marry intertribally, they will still pick up whatever they wear as vest and build mm. themselves. Mm. Mm. So when you deal with how enlightened they are, mm. how, they, how much value they place on human lives, then you can now think of if they will... So you can say those who are much more educated are quite open to the tribal marriage mm, yeah. than those who are not, not educated. educated. Education. So education actually education helps, helps people to be more role. open to the tribal yeah. marriage. Wow. Well, and there's something else my friends used to say. They will tell you, if you don't know the culture, don't bother. Okay. <laughs> it's, is that a slogan we should, we should um, hold on to? If you don't know the culture, don't can bother. We just, so can't, can't we go let's settle that, for what we know. The unknown is, when it comes to marriage, the unknown is a tub of water to actually try. I want to believe that before you get involved with someone to the extent of wanting to marry him or her, you have known the, their culture to an extent. Okay. You won't need to know all of it. Mm -hmm. Your involvement will make you learn their culture. Like okay. I learned how to greet my wife's people. I also learned how to talk to elders. There's a particular way you present, you know, Lasses. when you have to present some form of drink. You don't just come and dump it at them. True. They're not begging you for it. True. So I got to learn and I adapted. So it's all about learn the tradition. So it was fun for you testing new waters yeah. in as the case may be. Because I open up my mind to test it. Mm. <laughs> it's a choice too. Um, <laughs> I'm enjoying it. <laughs> yeah. Share with us the gains and the pains. It can't be all gain, gain, gain. gain. gain, gain there gain. should be a place for learning. There yeah. should be there should be a place for growth 
Well, if you could go to a marriage course for those who want to get married mm -hmm. today and um, they want to intermarry, what would be that thing, that lesson you would give to them and say, okay, this you think will work for those of you who want to intermarry? So I will elaborate on the pains now. It's like I've been... Yeah, share with us yeah. the pains too. Well, um, actually, I don't really have much regret, but I have come to understand that when there is a disagreement, mm. and then um, most people tend to tear to in my place, this is how we do it. Mm. <laughs> that is yeah. rampant. So that line of statement is very, very common. So you it's people no need healthy. to reach a compromise. A compromise. In that you can't learn everything at the beginning. Sure. Yeah. Mm. Sure. Because uh, human beings are unpredictable. Mm. Whether sure. you are involved in a marriage or, or you're not. meeting a stranger for the first time. So gradually, I meet you for the first time. I keep learning. I keep learning. I keep learning. So when the culture differs, it's not always rosy. So okay. there's always a point of compromise. Okay. That's you will need to meet, uh, this is how we resolve this. Whether the culture enforces it on us, this is how we want to resolve this. Okay, so taking from your experience, do you encourage intertribal marriage? I will encourage intertribal marriage why? to as many as I will come to the why, to as many as can afford to take the risk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a huge there's a risk. There's a risk. Most people are not tolerative of each other. Mm. Mm. So when they get in, you hear all manners of things, and the in-laws will be the first to say, we warned you. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah. we said it. <laughs> we told you. Uh, we so refused. those who have chosen to take the risk uh, should do it with boldness and confidence and you also understand that they are in for an adventure mm. so, if, <laughs> so a whole what lot you, of adventure, a whole lot of adventure. Wow. so what you want to make out of it is your home sure. yeah. it's your home so what you want to make out of it counts mm. if you want to turn it to a world ground well it's all your choice in your opinion marriages intertribal marriages that break up is it as a result of cultural differences or just normal thing that breaks couple up here and there it's just the regular differences not necessarily because of cultural culture? differences in it's your opinion yeah. so like i things. said before i love statistics if you run through the statistics of the breakups you will discover that the problems are not similar okay so i won't say this one broke up do we mean yeah, that uh, i will now use it to you know as a yardstick uh, yardsticks to measure, to measure. Uh, that every intertribal mm. marriage will always break up. Mm. It, will make, it will scare away youth from it. It mm. will make people to stick. And there's no assurance that if you marry someone from your tribe, you won't break up. Yeah. In fact, it's even messier because you people know each other very well. Uh, mm. familiarity, you fight dirty. Familiarity breeds. Is it contempt? Yes, contempt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that is how I see things. So the couples involved have a whole yeah. lot of work, work to, to do. do. Yeah. You need to learn to learn, learn to understand, understand adjust. Ah, it's been wonderful having you on the show, mm. Mr. Omana. We are really, really, it's been quite insightful. It's really, really nice getting to know that. For a lot of people, it's an adventure. I've never seen that side wonderful of adventure. marriage. <laughs> <laughs> so, that is our ad advice <laughs> to advise yeah. your yes, children it's, it's, it's to fun. intermarry. Diversity, yeah? yeah. yeah. Diversity is called. Tell Nigerians to intermarry. <laughs> Let's get to the streets <laughs> and find out what viewers on the street think about gender chat show and our topic for today. We'll be right back. Please don't go anywhere. To me, I don't see any big deal though. It's just a matter of understanding. As long as you love someone that you're dating, you know, <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with it. As long as the person is okay. So, nothing is wrong with it. Intertribal marriage is okay. It even allows for development in the country. It brings about unity. Knowing fully really whether I'm related or I have my relations from the east or the north, I won't have any mind of going there to say I want to go and destroy or kill anyone there. So intertribal marriage is, an, is a good idea that we should allow to grow in Nigeria. 
I don't I don't see anything bad about it, but I just feel that people should be allowed to marry who they love because it creates unity between everybody. Well, for me, I prefer it anyways. As talking for myself, it just helps to create more unity, basically among tribes. Okay. That's what I think, anyways. Welcome back. Welcome Those were back. chatters on the street telling us their view about intertribal marriage. Very interesting very, opinion, very you know. Very interesting opinion. <laughs> but you know, I have decided that I would encourage my children to intertribe and hmm. marry from different tribes. For diversity, you know, intermarriage gives you the ability to acculturate. There are things involved. Uh -huh. When that, there are different types of cultures tradition, customs, you learn new things. and beliefs, and you learn new things. New languages. Ah. <laughs> I think I want to be bilingual. Um, it will help me be a super seller. Um, you need me to actually advertise you for you. You can talk in every... Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. That should be you something know. for your kids, yeah? <laughs> All right. It's been wonderful hanging out with you people on the streets and it's been wonderful having you at the end there. We we'll see you same time, same station. My name is Ade Zewanko and it's the Gender Child Show. And I remain Olumide Oyinbokure. See you next. Goodbye. <laughs>